so many of you guys have been asking me to do more perfume oil videos and you've been asking me specifically about new releases and today I have a whole bunch to share with you. So today's finally the day. I have a whole bunch from generic perfumes. These are their new releases and most of them are of newer fragrances. Super exciting. I've smelled them all. I've worn most of them on the skin. And what I really love about fragrance oils, as you guys know, I've been talking about them since the beginning of my channel. They last a lot longer. They honestly are so much more affordable, easy to take with you. They come in these little roller balls. And a lot of the time, fragrances that are hard to come by that you otherwise wouldn't be able to try or experience, you can sometimes find them in an oil dupe and it's very accessible. So at least that's a great way to sample a fragrance. If you guys wanna know more about fragrance oils and just kind of a fragrance oils 101, I'll link my fragrance oils video up here. And without further ado, let's get into new fragrance oil dupe releases. So the very first one is Libre Intense, which you guys know I love and own, but didn't bring a bottle with me for this video because it's in the room where my baby is sleeping and I'm not gonna risk going in there right now, but I have worn this one. And Libre Intense is already a very strong, long-lasting fragrance, but for people who want an affordable option, this one is exactly, exactly the same. And it's a beautiful vanilla scent with lavender orange blossom, very, very sexy one of my biggest compliment getters and one of the most complimented fragrances on tiktok as it turns out if you haven't seen and these oil dupes range from like ten dollars upwards and for people who don't like the formulation of oil dupes generic perfumes also has spray formulations and solid formulations and i think i forgot to mention in the beginning of this video that this is a collaboration with generic perfumes i love working with them and i love their oils they do have some of the best quality dupes that i've tried and they're really underrated i don't hear too too much about them but definitely one of the best oil dupe brands that i've tried so libra intense exactly spot on so if you don't want to spend the big bucks go for the oil or their spray dupe but yeah aside from the packaging the scent is identical nobody will be able to tell the difference next up is their dupe of princess from killian which i do have the original of i i can't remember if this is discontinued or not i think they re-released it anyway beautiful beautiful scent it has tea it has marshmallow and a beautiful ginger opening it's this fluffiness, but also juxtaposed with some freshness and like a soft, spicy freshness. Really lovely fragrance. Horrendous, horrendous performance. All problem solved with the oil dupe, which smells like a concentrated version of this. It's super long lasting. It smells, this is another one that smells absolutely identical. And they don't all smell identical, but this particular one does. If anything, I would say like this is a little bit even more marshmallowy than the original. So if you wanted just like a smidge more marshmallow, it would be this, but they were like 99% the same. So another new release from Generic Perfumes that's really, really good. One more green tea scent, Matcha Meditation from Maison Margiela. Their dupe, honestly way better than this because another tea scent with very poor performance. This one has white chocolate, matcha, mate. It's sweet, it has a nice powderiness, a soft sweetness, and it really smells like ground up matcha, like that fresh, fresh matcha that you would smell like before actually making like a matcha latte. It kind of smells like a matcha latte, honestly. I don't even bother smelling the original anymore because I can hardly even smell this. It's such a beautiful scent when I had sampled it, but I was gonna buy a full bottle and thank goodness that I didn't because generic perfumes came through, made a dupe, smells fantastic, performs incredibly, like lasts all day. And to me, this is like way, way better than the original. Like I will not be buying the original because I have this. I'm going through the ones that I have originals of first. So we have a very good girl from Carolina Herrera. You guys know how I feel about the original good girl, but I do have to admit, I really like Very Good Girl. I like the original. I like their oil dupe. These ones are slightly different. I can't say these are spot on. They're probably 80% similar. Like their dupe is about 80% similar. It has red currant, rose, vetiver, really nice tart. This one almost, the oil has a different type of sweetness. Like I almost smell like as if there's a strawberry in here. 
and the original I smell a little bit more vetiver a little bit more of that tart like red currant the oil dupe is a little bit sweeter and I swear I could smell like almost like a plasticky strawberry it's very addictive very very good I like it a lot it's I can't decide which one I like better. I like them both. They are a little bit different, but their dupe is excellent. And if you wanted something that smells almost a little bit strawberry-esque or a little bit sweeter than the Very Good Girl, this one is it. I'm like, I'm so addicted to smelling this. It's the strangest thing. I, I want to keep smelling it and smelling it. You know what it kind of reminds me of the more I smell it? Kind of like, um, remember back in the day, those lip smacker lip glosses that were kind of like fruity kind of reminds me of that but like in a fragrance like not in a juvenile kind of like lip gloss smell kind of way just something about it is reminiscent of that the next one is a dupe of armani c intense the 2021 so i have the old intense in the black bottle and this is the 2021 which i don't own but i've smelled it in store this is a perfect, like, mouth-watering, sexy date night scent for cold weather. Black currant syrup, rose, benzoin. Oh, it's just like, you just want to wrap yourself in this. It smells so good. So good. I love this one. I really want to, well, I really wanted to get a full bottle of it, but now I don't have to because I have the old C Intense. I was like... Are they similar? Do I need both? But they're not similar. Turns out they're not similar. I don't really know what the game plan was with Armani and doing the whole C Intense change up and why they couldn't call it something different because it is very confusing that there's two different C Intense. But that's a whole segue into something else. Dupe is good. Okay, the next one that I was so curious to try because I can't find the original here anywhere in Canada. Like, I don't know. We're like on the edge of the earth. Nothing ever comes here. We're like the last ones to get anything ever. Olympia Blossom. I Now I see it on Fragrance Buy and places, but it was like last year it was supposed to be released. I couldn't find it anywhere. Dupe, they have it. I actually just rolled some on my hand. It smells really nice. It smells absolutely nothing like the original Olympia at all at all this has a note of sorbet pear like it's rosier sweeter it doesn't really have that caramelly sun-kissed skin vibe that the original olympia has this one's actually totally totally different like there's still saltiness and vanilla in here but it's fruitier it's a lot fruitier and girly like it's not a sexy you know seductive scent this one's a lot more like flirty and playful and this is a great way to try out a scent that I can't find anywhere. Like a lot of the time I'll just get the oil because I'm like, I can't find it. It's not available in Canada, but somehow I can get the oil. So perfect. So now I feel like I know what it smells like. I definitely don't need to get a bottle of it because this will do for me, but I really like how this smells. I still like the original Olympia more. Why do they have to keep like wearing out a flanker? This is what I don't get is like, this doesn't smell anything like Olympia, and yet it's Olympia Blossom. I guess they know that Olympia does well, so they'll just like pop out flankers. I also have Alien Goddess, which is the next one that I want to talk about. So we have Alien Goddess. I have heard horrible reviews about Alien Goddess. I hadn't tried it, and this is another one of those situations where like they're just wearing out flankers. Um, this has, smells absolutely nothing like Alien, and I think this is why it gets so much hate. But actually is a really nice scent. They probably should just call this like sun goddess or goddess, like literally just goddess. It smells really nice vacation-y, like a really nice vacation-y scent. Nothing like alien, but I'm glad that I got to try it via dupe. It's coconutty, vanillic. There's like a little bit of citrus in here. So based on the description and based on the notes, definitely this I would assume smells identical, but yeah, so now I got to try Alien Goddess, which I actually really like. So I will say that the only downfall and like critique that I have towards the fragrance is the fact that they called it an alien flanker, and I think that's probably why I get so much hate, but as a scent on its own, a really nice summery, vacation-y, kind of coconutty vanilla. Really pleasant. I like it. If you guys think at this point that I'm liking everything, don't you worry, we're getting to the stuff that I'm like not a huge fan of, but at least I got to try it. Next up is Oriana from Parfums de Marly. I had smelled this at the boutiques when it came out. 
I'm not a fan of this type of scent profile, but I just wanted to share with you guys that it is available in an oil. It does have a very similar scent profile to me as Love Don't Be Shy. And I thought about the original the same way when I smelled it in store. The same sort of sweetness, like marshmallowy, orange blossom kind of effect. Very similar to Love Don't Be Shy for me. There is a raspberry note in here and whipped cream. It's it's pleasant, it's sweet, but for me, it's like almost toothache sweet and really not something that I would gravitate towards. For me, not worth the price point for the original, but having the oil, like maybe twice in my life, I'm gonna feel like wearing it and like this makes it worth it for me. The next one I have is Italica from Zerzhov. This is the 2021 Italica. Not sure about the difference between the original and I've never smelled the original. Always been very curious. People have said amazing things about it. I've shared that I don't love Lyra, and a lot of you guys have told me that I need to try Italica. So I'm trying Italica. And I've, I've actually already smelled this before. I haven't worn it on the skin yet, but I've smelt it before. I actually really like it. I really, really like this. It's a beautiful almondy scent. Toffee, there's almost a little bit of spice in here. I think there's saffron. It smells like saffron. Really delicious. It's sweet but not too thick sweet. Like this one is, it's interesting because sweetness wise, like it's very similar to Oriana, but I really like, I, that's not a vibe for me. This one I could definitely wear. There's a really nice almond in here. Like a almost smells like a candied almond. Amazing. I really, really like this. I guess Italic is a good one. You know what? Maybe one day I will probably pull the trigger and get the original because now I'm like, so curious to compare. I'm on my third last, and this is Magenta Tanzanite from Armani Privé, a 2022 release, so like brand spanking new. This one intrigued me because it lists notes of cardamom, cinnamon, coffee, myrrh, love myrrh, tobacco, vanilla. On for granted, it's compared to Changing Constance, which I have, and this definitely smells like Changing Constance, but with like a very noticeable coffee note and more spice. Like, I really smell the cinnamon in here. Very nice, cozy, bold, unapologetic, but very pretty. I really like this. It's a really, really nice scent. Really beautiful coffee scent. Not sweet, not overdone. I feel like if you like Intoxicated by Killian, but if you wanted something a little bit more sweeter, a little bit more feminine and vanillic, this'll be it. It's beautiful. Funny that the packaging is so magenta because this does not smell like magenta to me, um, but a really, really nice scent. So luckily I got to try it with the oil and I, I think it's fantastic. And this one is a powerhouse. I wore this and I shared it with a friend of mine who also wore it. This scent, goes on and on and on, it, like this one doesn't stop. It lasts like until you wash your clothing and then even after you wash your clothing, it's still on there. So just beware, this one is a monster. Down to the last two. These are my not so favorites. We have Synthetic Jungle from Frederick Mal, which I was so, so curious to try. And I didn't know what to expect because there's notes of Lily of the Valley, Galbanum, Basil, Oak Moss, Hyacinth, I very much smell the hyacinth, super green hyacinth. Very, very intense. Like it smells damp. It smells like it's artistic. This is a work of art. I mean, this is a copy of a work of art. It's very interesting. It's not something that I could like wear, you know, it's not a, it's not a wearable fragrance in my opinion. It's very green, like it smells like you're in a damp, like vegetal place somewhere with lots of like flowers after it rains and the earth is wet and it's humid, very humid. Lily of the Valley is strong in here as well. Like I get why it's called Synthetic Jungle. The name is great, it, it works. It works with the name. Um, not a fragrance I would wear, but very fun to smell and experience and get transported to that place. Like it's more about the experience, I think, 
and then the wearing I'm not gonna wear this like let's be honest I don't love it as a fragrance to wear but a very interesting experience so very cool fun to try and lastly we have the new by Rito well not the newest at this point but of last year Mumbai noise and this is an oud fragrance it has coffee divana it's very oud it's a stinky oud not the kind i like this is a barnyardy oud this is for oud lovers this is basically straight up oud it also smells a little bit leathery very very intense um not something i could wear this smells very masculine to me and a little dirty like a like a it is a dirty barnyardy kind of oud not a dry oud like like i like like i like oud wood from tom ford that type of oud this is not anything similar this is a, on the other end so not a love for me but for oud lovers maybe and those are the new releases from generic perfumes of like newer fragrances and basically just a bunch of new stuff that came out for you guys to experience so i hope you guys enjoyed definitely check out generic perfumes i really really like their quality and like i said they have formulations not only in oil so a lot of you guys that are interested in dupes have asked me oh like where can i find this stuff like if i don't want an oil and generic perfumes has it in various formulations so just choose the format that you like they have the solids they have the spray versions the oils like a whole bunch of stuff and there's something i'm sure that you can find that suits your formulation needs let me know some of your favorite oil dupes and that's it for today don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time bye